Okay, today we're going to be reading There's a Nightmare in My Closet. And it's written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. If it's written by him, what is he? Good, he's the author. And if it's illustrated by him, what did he do? Good, he drew the pictures. And what am I showing you right now? Good, this is the front cover and this is the back cover. Great. Oh, what page is this? Good, this is the title page. There's a nightmare in my closet. There used to be a nightmare in my closet. Let's talk about the setting. Remember, the setting is where a book takes place. So looking at this picture, where do you think this book takes place? It looks like it takes place in this little boy's bedroom. Before going to sleep, I always closed the closet door. I was even afraid to turn around and look. When I was safe in bed, I'd peek. Sometimes. One night, I decided to get rid of my nightmare once and for all. As soon as the room was dark, I heard him creeping toward me. Ooh, so we have some characters in this story. Who's our first character? He's been here since the first page. Good, our little boy is the first character. And then I spy another character. Who is it? Good, the monster, the nightmare. As soon as the room was dark, I heard him creeping toward me. Quickly, I turned on the light and caught him sitting at the foot of my bed. Go away, nightmare, I said. I shot him. Anyways, he's got a little toy gun. My nightmare began to cry. I was mad, but not too mad. Nightmare, be quiet or you'll wake mommy and daddy, I said. He wouldn't stop crying, so I took him by the hand. and tucked him in bed. And closed the closet door. I suppose there's another nightmare in my closet, but my bed's not big enough for three. Oop, is there another nightmare coming? There is. The end.